This is a partially processed uh, image of M101. I wanted to create something that would isolate the galaxy, so I did a range mask. This is the range mask we ended up with. It does a pretty good job in the galaxy, but I have a lot of stars around it that I really don't want to be part of this mask. So I'm going to use the dynamic paintbrush to, adju to adjust the mask. Dynamic paintbrush is a $5 premium product that can be brought down. I think it's well worth the $5. I use it a lot to uh, uh, basically edit masks like this. So basically you come in, you can adjust your brush size. I have the brush size set to something relatively large here. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And then you can come in here and as I click draw, I begin to wipe out the detail to black. And I can just swing this through the image. I can be fairly not careful as I'm away from the galaxy. I get more careful as I get closer in. So with a little bit of action, I can wipe out the parts that I don't want to be included in the mask. I stop there. That's enough to give you a demo of how you might use this to modify your mask. Then when you're done, you click Execute and all those strokes will be uh, made part of the image.